Yo, what's going guys? Your boy Ben Mac again here in the video. Today we're going to talk about uh, <clears throat> the Saturday, this past Saturday that's happened with the recruiting. We're going to do a double upload tonight. Um, hopefully I like the uh, video that me and my buddy David did. Uh, we've had this plan out for a little bit now, for about a week or two. Um, and hopefully I like it. Uh, so yeah, so let's go ahead and talk about uh, this big recruiting weekend we had. Had a bunch of kids come through Saturday and Friday, um, or Friday and Saturday. One of them being uh, Miller. Uh, he's a running back out of Texas. He's ranked 169th position-wise. He's 115th. And then in the state of Texas, he's ranked 32nd. 32nd, he's class 2022. He, um, he's committed to Texas. And uh, like I said, I don't think you come to OU unless you have some type of, on a visit, at least, unless you have some type of interest in OU. Um, do I think we'll flip him? Probably not. Is there interest? Yes. Is there a possibility? Yes. It's a recruiting world, so you always can flip someone. Um, I think at the end of the day that we take Devontae Barnes. That's who I really want. Uh, he has loves he loves OU, loves Coach Murray, he loves Coach Lincoln. Um, I think you take Devontae Barnes if he wants to commit. And that's what I think is going to happen. I think we end up taking Devontae Barnes out of Nevada and uh, finish our running back room with, with him, Gavin Slotchuk, and really, really Brown being an all-purpose back. Next, we have Jacoby Johnson. Jacoby Johnson, comes, he's an athlete out of state of Oklahoma in 2023 class. Um... Ranked like nationally 59, state wise number two, position wise number eight. I'm a big fan of Jacoby Johnson. I really think we have a good chance of getting him. Um, he plays two sports. He plays basketball and football. I know Coach Porter uh, is going to be very involved in his recruitment too, so that helps. Uh, he's a dual, he like I say, he's a dual sport athlete. Um, we're recruiting for both basketball and football. He's also very good friends with Luke uh, Hayes. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Luke Hayes is like the number one recruit out of uh, Oklahoma right now. He's a four star. I think he ended up being a five star when it's all said and done. Um, so yeah, uh, big uh, big fan of Jacoby Johnson. Really hope we land the kid. Um, he's very athletic. I think we're recruiting to be a DB. I think I'm pretty sure he's six foot three. I think we're recruiting trying to get him as a DB. Um, next we'll talk about uh, Nicholas uh, Harvard. Uh, so this kid's a four star. He's an athlete. Again, uh, I'm pretty sure we're recruiting him to be a linebacker. He's about six foot five, two hundred twenty five. Uh, he's ranked like 89 nationally, and also he's like position wise ranked 10. Uh, he runs track and all that, so he's he's very very fast. Um, and also another dual sport kid that does track. Uh, so next we'll talk about the point 22 kid that uh, visit. You had Gentry Williams, and we'll talk about Gentry real quick. Uh, Gentry Williams in the five star uh, 2022 kid out of Oklahoma that we've been in a battle with at USC. Um, <clears throat> The farther this, the farther this goes on, the more and more I think OU is about to get him. I really do. Um, the more he visits OU and not uh, USC, it's the better. Uh, it's a lot better for us. Um, after doing some reading and stuff, uh, apparently he could up his commitment date a little sooner than we thought and expected. I think, and I think that has to do with OU being so consistent with him and him not having time to really go out to California to go see USC. Um, I think that that plays a lot, a big role in it. And <clears throat> I know a lot of people are talking about uh, Amario Boer. I think Amario Boer at the end goes to, Al goes to Alabama or LSU. I don't think he's going to go. He's not going to be a sooner. I think at this point, it's top two is Alabama and LSU. Um, if we can get on campus, great. I'm not holding my breath for the kid, though. Um, we were very, very, very strong contenders at first in his first recruitment and the beginning of his recruitment. But as time got on, go on I guess he really liked uh, LSU and Alabama. Best of luck to him. I, I mean, things can change. It's recruiting, so things can change in like a day. Tomorrow we may hear that he fell. He fell in love with OU. Like he's still there's still heavy contenders for him, and he's going to take this official visit. But right, as of right now, I think this is an LSU, LSU and Alabama fight. Uh, fight, and I think OU is like third maybe. Because I, I think we, can, I don't think he really enjoyed his official visit to Ohio State. So yeah, um, there's that. Next we'll talk about uh, so Gentry Williams. I think he ends up being sooner. Next is Jaden Rowe. He's OU commit. You guys know he's four star. Kobe McKenzie was the first kid to commit in this 2022 class a long time ago. He's a four-star linebacker. Um, he was there. Chris, Chris McClellan. So this is another big OK prep star kid. Um, he's a defense tackle. Um, he really, really likes Ohio State in Florida. Uh, I, th I think I saw Chris Ball from go to Ohio State. Um, OU, this is a big visit. I think OU can gain a lot, gain a lot of ground if they, pull, if they just do the right things and pull the right strings. I think they can get a lot of ground covered with uh, Chris McClellan. It'd be a, it'd be a really big get. Um, I want to say he's a top 100 recruit. I want to say. 
uh, definitely top 150 um, defensive tackle. So um, if we can lock down the center state with Gentry and Chris McClellan, the two, the top two, I, I would I would love that. That would be a big, big, big win for LU. Um, <clears throat> do I think we'll get Chris McClellan? I don't know. As of right now, no, I think he goes to Ohio State. Um, but I think this weekend could cover a lot of ground where he probably is neck to neck. So I could see uh, I could see his ground a lot of ground for uh, this Saturday once, we, once I hear more about it. Uh, next is Jacob Sexton. All you guys know, uh, four-star uh, office lineman. Uh, he's a commit. Everyone knows he's a commit. Uh, Caden Helms, four-star tight end. Another commit. Uh, next, you had RSJ, Robert Spear Jennings, uh, Oklahoma. He's a th- four-star now? Or is it three? No, he's three-star. Three-star kid. Uh, he's OU commit. Xavier Bri- Xavier uh, Bryce, he's a three-star corner. Uh, he's OU commit. And then we had... Uh, Kobe on green or something like that. He's a – I don't have a ranking for him. So, uh, yeah, I don't have a ranking for him at all. So, we'll have to go on from that. Next, uh, I have notes here because there's a lot of kids, guys, that came. Um, so, next we have uh, Jacoby Johnson. I already talked about him, the athlete, uh, four-star kid. Uh, next we have Bryson Myers, four-star uh, Michael Tease, who is Miles Tease's brother, um, he's a four-star kid. He was there in the 2023 class. Uh, Joshua Bates, another three-star kid. Um, uh, he's he was there. Uh, Jackson Howard, four-star kid, he was there. And also Andre Kojo, three-star kid. And then the big one that I'm a big fan of, David Stone at Oklahoma. I think uh, there's no ranking on him yet because he's 2024. But the kid can easily end up being in the ranks of a five star. This kid's a freak. I've been a big fan of him for a while. Uh, for when I first heard about a couple months ago, watch this tape. The kid's insane. Um, I think he ends up being a five star when it's all said and done by a 2024 class. And uh, he loves OU. So, yeah. So, uh, let's want to touch on that real quick. I want to touch on the week, uh, just the weekend recruiting because I feel like I didn't make a video about it when. I was supposed to. I was supposed to make a video uh, earlier today, but I went ahead and dropped the uh, video. Me and David did talk about the uh, college football online realignment and uh, OU and Texas move to SEC. So I went ahead and dropped that. And I said, no, I might as well do a double upload for you guys. Um, if you like the video, guys, please leave a like and subscribe. Put notifications on. Um, like I said, I, I know a lot of people probably want to uh Gabriel Dindy. Uh, like I said, all I can say is a and battle. With, with us and them. Um, right now, I still believe he ends up being a Sooner just because the College Station move really, really, really helped OU, I think, low-key because they said that all his family being in Florida and his parents had to go back and forth to Florida and Oklahoma. Now, College Station is not near as far as Florida is from Norman. And also, he's got family in Oklahoma. So, um, <clears throat> I think there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a pro and a con to this. Because A and M is really big in his recruitment, and now they're they're in his bed. Now he's in their backyard, really living there. Um, <clears throat> and but also at the same time helps OU because that way his parents ain't got to fly back and forth to Florida and Norman. It's closer to drive now, uh, with the college station. So it's the pros and cons to it. Um, I think A and M does have a real shot. Uh, it's gonna be a battle to the end for this kid. He's gonna be a he's a five star. He's a top uh, eight recruit. Last time I saw, so yes, Oklahoma. I know Oklahoma's his parents, alumni, and they're all OU fans. But at the end of the day, this is his decision on where he wants to go and where he feels comfortable at. And it's really the job of OU that make make him feel wanted and feel comfortable at you know, Norman. So we'll see how that works out. Um, like I said, I'm going to stop the video now. I already did the double upload. And I'm tired as hell right now. Um, if you like, like I said again, if you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I know it's a lot of you guys that watch or subscribe. Please subscribe. It helps me. Uh, it motivates me to actually do these videos more, and uh, this helps a lot with the channel. So, as always, guys, man, boy, boomer, making peace.